What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to access and modify Excel data in your Python programs. So to get started, I have an Excel sheet. Um, it's just one sheet and I called it menu items and it's like a sample menu for a restaurant. It's just four um, dishes, their prices, and then whether or not they're vegetarian, something like that. Um, the content of your Excel sheet doesn't really matter, but the location of it will. So I've dropped mine into my project folder here. So right where my main.py is for this Python Excel project, um, I also have the menu Excel file. That's going to be important in a little bit when we actually access it. Just good to know. Okay, so to get started, the first thing, anytime you're going to be uh, using Excel stuff inside of your Python pro project, make sure you have this OpenPy Excel module installed. If you don't, then go to the terminal or command prompt or whatever on your computer and do pip install OpenPy Excel and install the module real quick. So once you do that, you can do import OpenPy Excel right at the beginning of your project, just like that. Um, and then to access data, we're going to use two basic things from that module. So it'll be from OpenPy Excel import, and uh, we need two things. We need workbook, and it's capital W workbook, and then load underscore workbook, and no caps in that one. And so that's all we need to be able to do to just access our Excel file. Um, so then the next thing is actually load in your workbook. And to do that, uh, just pick a variable that makes sense to you. I'll just call mine book, um, but it's going to be equal to that load workbook that we just imported. And then um, in quotations, because it's a string, the name of your file. And so I'm using the PyCharm IDE, and it does this nice thing where it'll auto populate with the names of files. So like I can just type M and menu pops up as does main. Um, but make sure whatever you're using, it's this XLSX um, file extension. The XLSV that's like on older CSV style workbooks is not going to work. So make sure you have an XLX, XLSX file. Um, and then if we want to view some specific data, the next thing we want to do is just like we just put the specific book into a variable, we want to put a specific sheet into a variable. So if we want to take whatever's on top, like whatever's the primary sheet, um, it's just this sheet equals book.active. And you can change this sheet and this book uh, variable name if you want. I like sheet and book. It makes it pretty clear what we're looking at. And um, to get started, I'll just print for you that sheet so you can see um, what's going on here. So let, let's run this. And you can see down at the bottom, hopefully, I'll make that a little bigger for you. Uh, it, it just displays worksheet menu items. And now let's take a look at the sheet uh, just to compare to what we just got. So hopefully you can see, I was trying to zoom in for you, I just made everything invisible. Hopefully you can see, I know it's kind of small text, but the name of the sheet is menu items. So it's great that we're accessing the sheet, but we're not currently showing any of the actual data that's in this sheet. So if you look at the uh, kind of column and row names, that's how each cell has an identification. So like tortellini is in a2 and then the price of a burger is in b3 so um, we're gonna access some specific sh cells just to show you what that looks like so to do that let's uh, keep our print sheet statement in here but let's say we want to see what's in cell a2 um, so we'll do sheet a2 and then it's dot value if you want the stuff that's actually in the cell you have to use the dot value so let's run that Okay, and it gives us tortellini, which is pretty cool. Um, so we're viewing data inside of our Excel sheet. Okay, so that's a great example of how to get information out of your Excel sheet. Now let's do the next kind of basic operation, would be, which would be you want to modify data. So you have that sheet a2.value. Next thing we'll do is we'll say that exact same thing. Let's say we want to change it from tortellini to spaghetti. Okay, so just keeping it pasta. We don't need to change anything else in the row, but it was tortellini. Now we want it to be spaghetti. You can do this exact same way that you use to address the value. You can overwrite it using the same exact statement, and then you just say what you want it to be equal to. 
Um, and then the last thing is if I were to run this, it wouldn't give us an error, but if I open the Excel sheet, so it looks like it finished correctly, but if I open the Excel sheet, it still says tortellini. So it looks like what we're doing didn't work. Actually, the program worked just like we told it to, but there's this last piece you have to do, which is you have to save the book. So um, here's where if you've seen or modified text files, it's probably familiar with you as well. Um, you can modify data, but if you don't save it at the end, you're not going to uh, be overwriting any data. And so um, you have your choice here. After you modify things in your program, you can save it to the exact same name as the file when you pulled it in. So if I were to run this now, and then it looks like it succeeded, and I'm gonna pull up the program. Okay, and you see we got spaghetti, great. Um, but let's say that you wanted to go back to tortellini, um, but only sometimes. So you want that to be that in that cell, but only for like seasonal. You can make this seasonal menu.xlsx. Now, if you run this, okay, we it, it's going to create, and I know it's a little small, I don't have a good way of zooming in on the menu. Um, it's going to create a brand new Excel file, which if I open it up, that one has tortellini right there. But I still have my original menu preserved and it still says spaghetti because what we've done is we've edited the previous workbook and saved it in a new spot. So you have this ability to create brand new Excel files just by saving data with a new um, a new name. So that's the basics of how to open data, view data, and modify and save data from Excel using Python. If you enjoyed this and you want to see more Excel Python content, just let me know about in the comments below. I can for sure do a follow up to this project where maybe we do some more advanced data manipulation and show the actual like practical uses of combining Python and Excel. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a ton and let me know what you want to see more of on the channel in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and good luck with your code. Thanks. Bye.